Okay, so in a previous video, we talked about articles of clothing. So shirts, shorts, pants, etc. That's a different video that you can watch. In this video, we will talk about patterns and materials. So this is how we can describe clothing better. So we're going to start with patterns. A pattern is just the design of the fabric. So let's get into this. The first pattern is argyle. Argyle. And then see this purple here? That's an argyle pattern. And this boy here is wearing an argyle sweater vest. Argyle is very common with sweaters and sweater vests. Argyle. And argyle can be any color or any combination of colors. It's just about the shape. So do you see how there are diamonds? That's the argyle pattern. Up next is polka dot. Polka dot. So she, she is wearing a black and white polka dot dress. Polka dot is just whenever there are those circular spots. The spots can be small or big, still polka dots. So polka dot. Up next is plaid. Plaid is a very popular pattern for button-down flannel shirts. So this man on the left is wearing a plaid flannel shirt. And then if we look over here, these are all plaid. It's just about the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. Plaid can be any combination of colors. These are all plaid. Plaid. Paisley. Paisley. The next pattern is paisley. The man has a paisley bow tie. The man has a paisley bow tie. And then on the right over here, this is a black and white paisley pattern. So what do we see that's similar between the two? Paisley pattern just means it has this little thing here. It kind of looks like a comma almost. Do we see this shape? That shape is there. This shape is here. So that's what paisley is. Up next is checkered. Checkered. So the baby and the man have checkered shoes. Checkered shoes. So checkered is just where there are the different squares. Usually checkered is black and white. Most of the time checkered is black and white. Checkered also used to be very common for floors. Back in the 1950s we had black and white checkered floors. But checkered, black and white squares, like this over here. All right, next pattern is striped. Striped. Striped is just when you have lines of different colors. So we have blue and white stripes over here. We could also have dark blue and light blue stripes. They're just lines of different colors. Regarding stripes, there are two different kinds. If we look at the woman over here, what type of stripes are her pants? Her pants are vertical stripes. Vertical, up and down. So she has vertical striped pants. What about her shirt? The stripes go this way. That is a horizontal striped shirt. So vertical stripes, up and down, horizontal, side to side. 
floral print. Floral print. This is very general. It's just any print with flowers on it. So this is a floral print. This is a floral print dress. Floral print. And they can look very different. All floral prints are different. Animal print. Animal print. Animal print just looks like an animal. So here on the left, we have a giraffe print. Here on the right, we have a zebra print. But you can also have tiger, cheetah, that's animal print. And then last but not least, we have plain or solid. That's when your article of clothing is just one color. So this is a solid orange sweater. There is no pattern really. It's one color only. Okay, so now we are moving on to materials. That is what your clothing is made of. So first we have wool. Wool. Wool is the hair, the fur of sheep. So you shave the sheep and you make wool. Wool is very common for sweaters because wool is warm. Wool is natural. It's a natural fiber. Wool. So this is a gray wool sweater. Next, we have cotton. Cotton is also natural. It comes from this plant. So this is a cotton shirt. Cotton shirt. Cotton is good for when it is hot out because it helps you stay cool. Cotton. Next, we have silk. Silk. Silk is a more expensive material. Silk comes from silkworms, so it is also natural. It is created by insects. Silk is very shiny and smooth. In the past, silk was very expensive, so only the very wealthy had silk. So this picture here is of a wealthy woman wearing a blue silk dress. Silk is still fancy today, but it is not as expensive as it was in the past. Silk. Silk is also good for regulating body temperature. You can get, it can breathe. You feel comfortable. It's not too hot. Silk. Next, we have Leather. Leather. Leather is the skin of animals, usually cows or pigs, I believe. Leather is made by tanning the animal skin. If we look at this bottom right hand corner, all of these people are tanning leather. Tanning leather is when you put the leather in chemicals to help make it last, to change the color, so it can be made into a bag, a jacket, etc. So this right here is a brown leather briefcase. Leather. Leather is very common for purses briefcases, and jackets, leather jackets. Also, shoes. A lot of shoes are leather. Next, we have lace. Lace. So this is a white lace dress. Usually, lace is more for decoration. So it goes on the edge of dresses or sleeves. A lot of people have lace on their wedding dress. 
lace usually is not the only material used because you can see through it. So this white lace dress, you need to wear something under it. So lace is usually just additional. You rarely have a whole dress made of lace like this. Lace. Next, we have velvet. Velvet. Velvet feels soft when you touch it, almost like there are little hairs, and it is a little bit shiny. So we have red velvet over here, and then this woman is wearing a green velvet dress. Velvet. Next, we have satin. Satin. Satin is not natural. I believe satin was made to look like silk, but it is not natural. The front of satin is shiny, but the back is not. So here is gray satin, and she is wearing a satin dress. Satin. Next, we have Felt. Felt. Felt is made of little hairs that are stuffed together. Not hairs, but fibers. You rarely have clothing made of felt. Felt is more used for crafts. So this is a felt panda puppet. So it's made of felt, this panda puppet. Felt. Next, we have denim. Denim. Denim can come in many shades of blue. Sometimes denim is white, sometimes black, usually different shades of blue. The most common item made of denim are blue jeans, but you can also have denim jackets and other things. Denim. Next, we have fur. Fur. Fur is the hair of an animal. Furs come in many different kinds. So you can have fox fur. You can have beaver fur. You say the name of the animal first and then fur. A lot of people do not like wearing fur. That's why a lot of the fur today is fake. That's called faux. So if someone says this jacket is faux fur, that means it is not real fur. It is plastic. So it did not come from an animal. Yeah. Real fur is not popular anymore and sometimes people will be upset if you wear real fur. Okay, moving on. The next material we will learn about is suede. Suede also comes from animal skin, just like leather, but if you look at the picture, it's soft. Leather has a smooth finish. Suede is soft. It does not have a smooth finish. It's bad for suede to get wet. Suede does not like water, but suede is another material that is common for jackets, clothing, etc. All right, next material is linen. Linen is a natural material that comes from a plant. It comes from this flower and the seeds. Linen is very breathable. It's like cotton. It's natural. The airflow is good. So linen is common for clothing, also tablecloths. There are a lot of things you can make out of linen. Next we have cashmere. Cashmere. Cashmere is typically used for socks, like in the picture on the right, or sweaters, other winter articles of clothing. Cashmere is from the hair of an animal. This is a cashmere goat. Cashmere is very soft, 
very warm and it is also expensive. Cashmere is an expensive fabric. Next we have corduroy. I don't know if corduroy is synthetic or natural. I would guess synthetic, but the main thing with corduroy is that there are lines. Do we see all these lines in the material? That shows you that it is corduroy. Corduroy is commonly used for pants and sometimes jackets. Do you want to hear a joke? Did you hear about the corduroy pillowcase? It's making headlines. It was a joke. Corduroy. All right, next we have nylon. Nylon is a very synthetic material. If we look at the weave, the way the pattern goes in the center, we can see it's loops of plastic. Nylon is used sometimes for underwear, like this slip. On the left-hand side, we have a white slip, and the body of the slip is nylon. There's lace at the edge, but the white fabric is nylon. Nylon is typically used for athletic clothing. It's a synthetic material. Athletes' jerseys are typically made of nylon. It's a very synthetic material.